name's Peter Shields and I'm going to run through the basic operation of the Scala Tech TWL1S heat stress monitor. This monitor is designed to measure thermal work limit or TWL, which is an integrated measure of dry and wet bulb temperatures, wind speed and radiant heat. The TWL predicts the maximum level of work that can be carried out in a given environment without workers exceeding a safe core body temperature. In excessively hot conditions, the index can determine the safe work duration thus preventing heat-related illness and providing guidelines for work rest cycling. So let's get started. Firstly, press the power button until the display comes on. At this time, check the battery icon in the bottom left corner of the display. The Ford AAA batteries will typically give about 120 hours of operation. When you turn the unit on, the dry bulb temperature will be displayed. At this point, it's really important to leave the unit with the power on in the environment you want to measure for 5 to 10 minutes to ensure the sensors equilibrate before taking any readings. By pressing the mode button, you'll scroll through the parameters. Dry bulb, wet bulb, globe, wind speed, humidity, WBGT and TWL. Because we haven't taken any TWL measurements yet, the screen will just show dashes. TWL is not an instant value, it's a calculation using the average data collected over two minutes. When you press the TWL key, a two minute countdown timer will display and it will start counting down. After two minutes, the TWL value will be calculated and displayed as a value and the risk icon will be in the bottom of the display. In this case, it's 360 watts per metre squared and low risk. If you press the backlight button, the LCD backlight will show green, yellow or red, depending on the TWL value. The higher the value, the lower the risk. If the value is greater than 140 watts per metre squared, it will be green. Between 140 and 115, it will be orange, and less than 115, it will be red. Now we're in the red zone. By pressing the button you can see that we've got a reading of 70 watts per metre squared. If the TWL value is less than 115 watts per metre squared, you can activate the timer function. This is useful to alert workers of the work rest cycle they should be undertaking. This is done by pressing the timer key. At this time you can increase the timer from 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 minutes in 5 minute increments. To activate the timer, press and hold the timer key again and you'll see the, the screen starting to count down. At the conclusion of the countdown, a signal will be sent to the remote pager to alert the user that they can go back to work. If you want to reset the timer or stop the timer, it's just a long press on the timer key again. The countdown stops and the screen goes back to the target time you set up. The unit is supplied with a remote pager. You can trigger this by pressing the pager button. This will also be triggered by reaching the red zone or the expiration of the countdown timer. The pager will beep and vibrate. To enter the data logging mode, you need to do a long press on the mode key. As the device overwrites old data when you start logging, you need to make sure you have downloaded the data from your previous sessions before starting. By pressing on the mode key, it'll ask you if you're sure. Press the mode key quickly to confirm or to abort, press the timer key. So I'll press the mode key and it started recording. You can see it's showing recording down the bottom. To stop the data logging, you need to press and hold the timer key. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. The Scarlet TWL1S is available at Airmet for sale and rental. For more information about the Scarlet Tech heat stress monitor, visit airmet.com.au or click on the links below.